is Poetry for Warriors Daily. Your daily dose of Poetry for Warriors. And here's your host, Joshua David Ling. Three. Interview. After the fight with Tim Kidd and the party in the locker room, Braden left with his best friend Jonathan into the night's air and gloom. The Los Angeles smog shifted and writhed with mystery in the dark, brooding sky. But thankfully, the well-lit parking lot dispelled the terror, the danger, and the lies. As Braden and Jonathan passed through the doors of the venue where Braden had fought, a reporter with an old micro-cassette headed them off by the parking lot. He mashed record and proceeded to ask a few questions for those who still read the Los Angeles Herald, though many said print media was certainly dead. Braden Silversmith, I'm Chris Magnus, to the LA Herald I report. I was sent to cover the fights tonight for the pages of sport. What were your thoughts on fighting tonight, on TV for the first time? Braden took the interruption in stride. Dude, it blew my mind. The reporter asked a couple more questions, then shut his recorder down. Are you guys headed back? Do you live far from town? Nah, not very far at all. We're just waiting for my grandmother. Do you remember me from years ago? Your grandma was the other reason I came out tonight. Just then from the door came Ray and Silversmith, smiling broadly with a big hug in store. Chris Magnus, how have you been? She embraced Chris warmly there. You look so much better since you cut your hair. Don't worry about me, Grandma. It's not like I won tonight. I'll get to you, Brayden. Do you remember Chris? He was one of your students, right? He came over to the house a lot. Well, I kind of came to talk in private. We know when to get lost. Brayden and Jonathan snickered at their sarcasm, and Rayan shooed them away. They got in the car together and relaxed for the first time that day. This has been Poetry for Warriors Daily. For more, visit joshuadavidling.com.